First of all, we're all freezing. We're in Leesburg, Florida, and it's November 15th, and it's frigid out. It could snow any minute. Oh, you could like see your breath. 60 degrees. This week, my travels took me to Leesburg, Florida, to a little place called the 24 Tap Room. It's a little brewery on the end of a plaza. A little unknown fact about this place, in 1897, nothing happened. This week, the show is part of the Gas Money Comedy Tour. It's a small little bar, but man, will they end up packing them in. You even have this guy flicking you off. How many you got on tap there? You got 24. Oh, 24. 24 tap room. I guess I should have known that. Yes, here we go. Right, we have a good point. And I'm ready to do the show. Um, here early. It's like 7.30. Uh, not even. Okay, so one more time. Matt, right? Matt. Matt. Matt Carter. Matt Carter. This is Matt Carter from Tampa. Um, we are doing the 24 tap room together tonight here. Leesburg, Florida. Woo! I'm in there. I'm like looking at all the beers that they have on tap and I'm like, how many you got? He's like, oh, we got like 24. <laughs> the place is called the 24 Tap Room. Thanksgiving is just like a couple weeks away, right? Um, you got family in town, or I what's, do. what's your tradition? I, for? Dude, this is the thing, though. See, my parents like to just tell me when Thanksgiving is happening, and rather than be like, "Hey, are you available?" So, because they're divorced. So it's been a fun game I've been playing for 22 years now. Of where am I supposed to be? And my dad was like, hey, by the way, we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving on the 22nd. And uh, I was thinking, oh, so we're going to do it on a different day. And then I looked at the calendar. I was like, that's Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, when else <laughs> you celebrate it? When you first said that, you're like, uh, we're going to celebrate it on the 22nd. And my brain immediately thought, oh, okay, their family celebrates it a different day when everybody's in town and it's able to work for them. Yeah. But the 22nd is Thanksgiving. That is Thanksgiving. Hey, uh, Matt, this year for Christmas, we're going to actually try to celebrate it on the 25th. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah, that okay. seems good. We'll have to see if that lines up with Christmas. Yeah, with uh, the rest Christmas. of the day. I got to pee so bad. Uh, should I pee before the show? Yeah. Oh, you don't have to get this. Go on, go on. Come on, go on. I'm nervous for some reason. Okay, so we're at this little bar. I don't do very well at bar shows normally, but I wrote out my set list. Over here. I wrote out my set list. We'll see if it's funny. Okay, this is my plan. Um, I want to do the joke about forgot about Dre, the drove drunk, New York Christmas stuff because it's almost Christmas. Jokes about my car. Then I got stuff about Thanksgiving, which is brand new. I've never even done any jokes about Thanksgiving. It's filling up in here. Look at it. It's filling up in here. Twenty-one tap room. How you guys doing tonight? Get it up! Get it up! Come on! How you guys doing? Give me some of that love. Some of that love. How are you, people? Thank you for showing up. You guys came out. They're like, nobody's gonna come. I'm like, I'm gonna show you. Yeah. People are gonna come out. <laughs> you get tap, right? <laughs> no, man. Thank you so much. Got for us. Only give it up. Twenty-four tap room for having us out here tonight. Woo! Twenty-four tap room. We got twenty-four different kinds of beers on tap. All different kinds of brews. Yes. Yes. I get 23 me. I found out that uh, I'm actually 9% Sub-Saharan African uh, from the South of Sudan. So that means I get to say some things that you people can't. Uh, <laughs> things I wanted to say for a very long time. How'd it go? It went really well. I was fun. It was, it was good. I finished strong. You know, you say the strong stuff for Lions. I've been doing comedy like eight months. You're now, brand new. I'm brand new to the scene and uh, I'm just grateful for opportunities to get on stage, especially in like full packed out rooms. That's crazy. There's like nowhere to sit in there, and that's awesome. And they laughed at me. That was great. I don't want to go up there with this Superman shirt. I'm going to look silly, so I'm going to change my shirt. Lock the camera. I don't want everybody to see my chest. Quick, lock it, lock it. <sighs> All right, thank you. I put on one wrinkled shirt and replaced the other wrinkled shirt. 
my time to go up on stage. Let's go. We're gonna get to the main event of the night tonight, people. Your last comedian coming up here is coming at us all the way from Orlando. He hosts the Wednesday night open mics at the Improv every week. He's constantly building up other comedians. He's a great guy, nationally touring comedian. I want you guys to give show all your love to Mr. Carmen Malone. morning I realized all I did was put my car in reverse and back up into a different spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'm like, I made it. I didn't get it, man. The first Thanksgiving, I was doing some research, was in uh, 1621. Yeah. Right? That was, that was 255 years before the light bulb. <laughs> but somehow the Native Americans and the pilgrims were watching football on TV. <laughs> Twice baked potatoes, I understand. <laughs> Something about this holiday doesn't add up. I also just found out that the sex robots are a real thing. I don't know if you saw that on TV. Yeah, that's a real thing. Homeboy over here's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. I was watching Dateline, they had $30,000 you could buy yourself a sex robot. I don't even know what to do when my wireless router goes out. <laughs> now they expect me to troubleshoot a full robot? <laughs> So is like you guys name off the first thing that comes to your mind, yell it out, we'll take the best suggestion, whatever comes our way. So first up we have a line here with that sexy ass sweater there. Yeah. 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 Mr. Alex Joe Baptiste, get up here one more time. I know what I want to say, but it's also very disrespectful. Say it anyway! Sex with me is like Fruit Loops. Because on a Saturday morning, I'll leave something nice and fruity in your mouth. Yeah, you 
shouldn't be allowed to be that. And my wife wouldn't approve. I don't know. I like white chocolate better, Juan. Why couldn't I do white against white chocolate? Because white chocolate's fucking awesome.